Blaise power play uh, led them to victory last night against the Belfast Giants with two goals, although it seemed like it was on 305 attempts. But uh, still, that was very much the difference in the game as the Panthers will keep this one alive in the offensive zone. Farley will coast into the corner. Neil through a crowd, stick down by the netminder Kent. And Neil gets it again. Thought about DTD, goes Farley instead. Farley on the net, block it away again by Nolan Kent, who looks like he's seen the puck pretty well out there. Puck kept alive in the offensive zone by Hugo Wah, who will drift to the bottom of the circle. Neil thinks about the shot from the point, ends up wide, as he might have been looking for a tip on that one. Farley picks it up in the corner. Back to Neil. Nottingham just looking to penetrate here. Neil, cross to the weak side. Fancy little drop off Neil on the one timer. Good save by Nolan Kent, who read the puck, saw it through a crowd, was able to make a good save on a Carl Neil shot that had a lot of venom on it. Yeah, Nolan Kent tracks this puck really well. Neil there plays it across. They're almost looking for the shot there, and then quickly Wah turns it round, backs off. Shot comes straight in. There's a lot of people in front of Nolan Kent there. He's got to watch that puck because it's coming from his left side back to the center of the ice. Does well with the save. A lot of bodies being uh, thrown out there by the commentary blaze tonight. Certainly uh, was a big part of the game last night as the Belfast Giants came in with all kinds of physicality. Maybe a little bit of uh, uh, muscle memory in this one after that. There's going to be a chance for on the loose puck. It's Mitch Cook. He couldn't dig it out of his feet. It is under Stojanovic and the uh, hunt for goal number one on the year for Mitch Cook continues as we look again. Yeah, he, he's done well there, rolls off the hit and then we see the, the dump in that Nathan Ripley's going to go and chase and hit Ripley and Spellis, he dig the puck out, it comes to Cook and he just he has it on his stick and then it just slips off at the last moment, just comes off the heel instead of going into the back of the net. Oh boy. Norris over to the top of the circle. McNulty to the goal line. Christo offering himself as an option. Back to the goal line. Plays getting closer to the net of Stojanovic. They'll throw it out in front. There's a big hack at it from Danny Christo, who uh, is summarily uh, sent out of the face of Rock Stojanovic, who's uh, eaten one, and uh, we'll have a stoppage. This off. Won by the Blaze and JD Dudek. Thompson at the point. Clemens with a one timer. That's spilled out. Big save from Stojanovic on a rifled one timer from David Clemens. And there was a loose puck, but Panthers able to box out and get that out of the zone. Neil. It's poke tricked as he was looking to pull the trigger. Thompson in behind for Betridge. Oh, Betridge, nice feed to the slot for Anderson. He gets poke checked again by Allen. Nottingham still have it in behind the goal. Played out in front. It'll come to Hazeldine. Hazeldine drops off for Neil. Neil with the toe drag. Gets around Christo. Fires one upstairs. Oh, it's dropped on the Panthers' right wing. Kent again was trying to track it. That rebound like it just went straight up in the air. Betridge with a swing and a miss on a 50-50. There's a loose puck out in front. Kent has to make a big save off Misho, who was given a gift early. The 25th is a couple of weeks away, but he couldn't bury the chance. And for well, the country players have to wipe their brow a little bit there as they came under some pressure. And the confusion, the Nottingham Panthers go get the puck and have to start up ice. Here's you go, wah, wah. Will bring that into the zone, gives himself a little bit of space. Thought about the drop off, will go himself. Five holes. Stop by Ken, the rebound's out, and Ken makes a diving save to his right. Couldn't hold it in. Had to go and make a desperation save, his biggest of the night. Anderson coming the other way, he's watched by Shearer. Kent will stick that one aside. Now, face up to the right of Stojanovic. McNulty wins that draw. Talberg will go and settle the puck, and he'll throw one on net quickly. There's a rebound down in front. It comes out behind the goal line, and Comte Blaze will have to start up again. Talberg off to Christo. Christo looking for a lane, will go to the hash marks, he'll shoot himself, another rebound out in front, and it is behind everybody, but behind the goal line, wider than that. And eventually it's scooped up and out by the penalty kill unit, and well, the commentary blaze just going to work quickly on the power play, not wasting any time, putting pucks on Stojanovic with a minute 30 left in it. And there's Talberg, you'll shovel that puck to the corner. Roth in behind the net for Christo. Norrish. To the weak side. Hard pass to Roth. He looks in. Roth to the back door looking for a tip from Talberg. It was just away from him by the stick of Hazeldine, I think, who got in the way. Hazeldine looks it over to the far wing, but dumped in. Of course, uh, with Archie on uh, under 20s duty. It'll be a shame that he uh, can't go to battle with his brother. I'm sure they would have loved that as uh, Cook will 
Chip that one in behind his man, he'll go and chase. Lenquer will come out in front of Stojanovic, he gets mobbed for the puck, Spellacy scores! And the Blaze finally break the deadlock in this game. On the forecheck, the puck just sat for Aiden Spellacy, and he gets his first goal of the regular season here, Stu, and a bit of work on the forecheck. The stick gets tied up of Lenquer, and no mistake from Spellacy, who is stationary. Yeah, no mistake from it, Spellacy at all. We'll it there, it's Mitch Cook behind the net, ties up, excellent on the forecheck. Spellacy gets the puck, doesn't even move, just whips the shot off, tries to go for the surprise factor and gets exactly that. Pass rocks to Janovic to make it 1-0 to the Coventry Blaze. Norrish over to Christo. Back for Norrish, he's looking in at the hash marks at one time that's fanned upon on the uh, right wing face-off dot as the Blazers look at it from McNulty. Panthers will gobble that puck up. Hazeldine unable to clear the zone though. McNulty sends it off the stick of Talberg. Puts the brakes on. A little confusion play from Talberg. Finds Thompson. Christo off the skate, doesn't like it. Spins, gets himself comfortable. Shooting, he scores! Oh, what a finish of Christo! Over, just over halfway through the power plate. Took the first look at it off the skate, said, nah, I don't fancy it. Pivoted to the top of the hash marks again here. Was given a little bit of room to creep in. Snapped it high, block aside. And the Coventry Blaze have a two goal lead to do. That's a beautiful finish from Danny Cristo. Like you say, doesn't fancy it, so goes back, comes in, realizes that the Panthers have left a little bit of a space there for him to come in and take that shot. And he just backs himself. Really, I could get that shot off faster than you can react. Neil gets checked as he tries to drop that in behind the net. Here's Talberg to the point. Shoots from the point. Oh, it leaked through Stojanovic. You got a big chunk of it. It leaked through him wide of the target. Misho drops it off to the right wing. They've got Farley heading to the net. He shoots short side, block it away by Kent. Good opportunity for the Nottingham Panthers there. Farley read the ice well. There's a tip in front off Misho, and Nolan Kent's quite happy to sit on one and hang on for a whistle with five minutes having gone in the third. And and now here come the Blaze. Well, two on two with McNulty and Talberg. Oh, Talberg gets into the offensive zone, shoots upstairs over into the netting, and we'll have a stop. Here's a little bump on the play that just seemed to open up the ice for uh, Kim Talberg, but he only found the top net rather than the one that Stojanovic is guarding. Yeah, had a little bit of space there. As he carries it over, McNulty creates a little bit of space for him with the sort of like the bump there, goes high, high block aside, but he's just up and wide of uh, Stojanovic's net. I think Yeminen will kind of go and chase this puck in. Ends up zipping round. Caruso braces the boards, keeps that puck alive, and Hugo Wa will make a nice little move to get some daylight. Betridge will fire one from the point. Oh, it bounces off Thompson. He takes a sore one. There's going to be a chance out in front. They score. And Nottingham do get on the board with 7.09 remaining in the game. And that really has made this an interesting sprint to the finish. Big shot comes off the shoulder of Thompson. He gets his wits back about him, but it's too late as the Panthers have connected the dots and they go bar down on Ken to get on the board. He's the kind of guy that you know doesn't stand out as being a first year pro. You think he'd have a few more under his belt the way he uh, conducts himself out there. There's that pocket on the goal right now. Oh, to the slot. Chance. Big save from Nolan Kent again. Some daylight at the top for the Nottingham Panthers. And the Blazer number one comes out aggressive and makes a big old save. Big. And the Blaze can try and make a play at the empty net. Shearer sends that one around the boards. He can't clear the zone. Neil to the half wall. Henbrandt in behind the goal line. Tries to stuff it out short side again. Ends up with Rychek at the point. On the overlap, shooting down. Oh, it was a big tip out in front. Nolan Kent has got a rebound under his glove. Carter Allen playing big brother just to prevent any more hacks and chops coming his way. But oh, the Nottingham Panthers really hungry here. The Stu there sharpening the claws. Nolan Kent's been fantastic in there. Yeah, Kent's played a really good game. You know, could be uh, easily be the Blaze MVP. Based off to the left of the aforementioned Mr. Kent. So six on five we go. LeMay. And in behind the goal line. Blaze smell a chink in the armor, but they can't get that puck away from uh, LeMay. 
gets it to the point. Neil. Battle he shoots off her body in front. The empty net is there, they score! McNulty from 180 feet away puts it into the empty net. The Coventry Blaze have a two goal advantage with just under 90 seconds remaining. And that might just have put the cherry on the top of the cake for the Blaze here, Stu. Yeah, Ian McNulty turns around and just swipes it at home. And uh, a goal and an assist for him tonight. He puts himself in the uh, discussion for man of the match. Stretch pass down that right-hand side. Misho shot stopped by Nolan Kent. It was a big old hit as well on that Panthers forward who's cutting across. And there'll be some pushing and shoving along the goal line as well. Big old cuddle calms it down and we'll, uh, we'll defuse things. Or will we? As uh, J.D. Dudek, I think, got a little tickle from Weston Misho. A little cheeky one there from the Panthers number seven. Anyway, he wins it. One timer from Wa padded down by Kent again. 30 seconds to go. Blaze can't get a zone clear. LeMay to the top. Neil. LeMay on the one timer upstairs. Gloved down by Kent. He hangs on for the whistle. That was a big old save from Nolan Kent. I think it might have been rising a little too high to trouble the scorekeeper. But either way, he gets on it. Face off one again by Betridge. Neil's going to throw one from the perimeter. A little blocker saved by Kent. Comes off the skate of Thompson next to him. Panthers will retain it at the point. Neil, there's a big old crowd in front of Kent. There's a shot gobbled up by the net miner. There's a penalty on that play. And that means the commentary players are going to have to send another man to the box. Oh, there's going to be a big old bit of pushing and shoving in the corner between Norwich and... I didn't see who that was from the Panthers. Blake Thompson's got involved with somebody also. He's grabbed Weston Michaud. Geographically, two pretty close teams getting pretty cross with each other. Yeah. A clean face-off win and a shot is what the Panthers are looking for. Neil drops it off. Wah! Wow, shoots it off the inside of the leg of Thompson. And that will be all she wrote in this one with the Coventry Blaze. Winning five on the bounce. Oh, Nolan Kent has got a little upset with the Panther out in front of him. Carter Allen's got a little push and shove with, I think that's Neil. The officials will want to settle this one down in a hurry so the Coventry Blaze can revel in five on the bounce, too. Yeah, five gold wins for the Coventry Blaze. Here with Blaze head coach Danny Stewart after the home win against the Nottingham Panthers. Uh, coach, uh, I almost got a little bit of deja vu in that game. It was uh, really similar to uh, last night in many ways, wasn't it? Two very fast teams against us. Yeah, it's two good teams we played this weekend, really fast. And, you know, we, we, we highlighted that this morning, that they got the speed. They like to try and get in behind you. And I thought I thought we did a good job there, certainly in the first five minutes of the first period. I thought we got off to a good start. And then we I think we started pressing a little bit too much. And through that, they got some life, you know, they off the rush they're a very dangerous team they like to they like to hit you off the rush and uh but you know what when, when we needed it Noli came up big similar to last night in the first period you know we, we weren't great with the puck and cozy made some big stops and and kept that at zero zero and same thing tonight so um you know i think i think through and through you know our d competed they battled all night we were blocking shots our forwards were you know working i think we I, a little bit of fatigue, I think, sat in in the third there, but all in all, good, 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 good. Just kind of going back to Nolan Kent just for a second, coming in after not having a lot of uh, match experience this season so far, and putting, I think it was 47 saves, that's not easy to do. And oh. you kind of want him to do that because it gives you a good problem to have if yeah. he keeps playing like that. Yeah, he was terrific tonight, you know, his first game at home, in front of the home crowd against a very skilled team, like I said. And in the third period, we need, really needed him there. He, uh, you know, they really pushed us and pressed us in the third there to, to try and tie the game. And, you know, he came up big. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, the more depth you have in that position, and that's a big reason why we started the year with with the extra guy um because you know we've seen in seasons past the wear and tear over the season you know especially you get into the stretch in december where you're playing stupid amount of games in a short period of time you need another guy that can go in there and compete and give you a chance to win hockey games and you know he certainly did that tonight and that's five on the bounce now and if, if my maths is right that puts us up to fourth in the table what what the difference a couple of weeks makes yeah and you know what we even i think when we were dropping you know a few games there and you know, making mistakes. I think for the most part, we're, we were seeing some some progress in the performances.
weaknesses in certain you know areas of our game and um but we just weren't finding ways to win hockey games and, and we've been able to turn that around and you know it doesn't get any easier here we got to turn around quickly here after this is a tough weekend and you know very fast paced you know a couple games and you know, we got Belfast in the cup, so we just got to kind of find some rest here and, and, and then reset and, and put our focus back on them. But, uh, you know, it's a it's a long month for us. And, you know, to start it off, you know, with, 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 the, with the wins that we have is, is, you know, puts us in good stead.